four at spring practice. Now, last year was Jimmy Lake's first year as head coach. However, last year, because of COVID and the whole pandemic coming on, they ended up not having a spring practice. So there, this is going to be Jimmy Lake's first spring practice as the head coach. And I think there's a lot to figure out for this team. Now, I'm not going to go one by one, look at each position, kind of break it down, because really, that's what I do in my position breakdown segment. I've already done the whole, all the defensive positions. I did the offensive line last week, wide receivers I just did. And next week, I'll be breaking down, I guess, the running back room and then back. So what I'm going to be doing here in this segment is kind of an overview and then getting into more details surrounding other key pieces besides individual positions. The glamorous and obvious thing to watch for at spring practice, and it's going to be something to watch for, is the QB battle. Who is going to be the starter this upcoming season? And it's really going to be between Dylan Morris, the redshirt sophomore, and Sam Heard. But you got it all in account the graduate transfer, Patrick O'Brien. Now, looking at these three guys, Morris clearly has the advantage with it early in his third year at UW, second year in John Donovan's offense. But he really light up last year. He really didn't have this amazing year. And that's what left the door really open for Sam Heward to come in as a five-star top 10 ranked player in the nation and maybe get the starting job. But looking back at Dylan Morris, I can't blame him completely for not lighting up last year and having these huge numbers as last year was just a completely weird year. It was only four games and it was also a run heavy offense like I've mentioned. But even in that, I can still point to struggles that Morris had. One of the main things he struggled with was his accuracy. So that's what I would really like to focus on during spring practice, just seeing how Morris has developed and seeing if he's more accurate than he was last year. And it's not really just his accuracy on just deep passes, but also his accuracy on short to intermediate routes. One of the most noticeable or one of the things just instilled in my mind from this last four game season was a play against Utah. So it was a crossing route, Pukunakua ran, and it ended up being a 55 yard touchdown. But if you actually look at the pass and everything, it was a pretty bad pass by Dylan Morris. Dylan Morris on a five yard crossing route threw the ball high and behind Nakua. Nakua ended up making the catch. He ended up having to do a 360 to stay on his feet, where he then ended up running the rest of the way for the 55 yard touchdown. A bit of excuse for Morris is that there was pressure in his face. But I mean, he's a Division I college football quarterback. He needs to be able to make that simple of a five yard pass with a guy in his face. Because if Nakua hadn't been completely wide open, then there was no way he would have scored with that poor of a pass. It might have even been broken up as he had to slightly slow down. So that's really something that I'm most interested in for spring ball. How is most developed? He was thrown in last year as a redshirt freshman in his first year in this John Donovan offense. And now he's had on-field reps and a whole off season to watch his own film and improve. If Morris has improved, then I hope Sam Heward could come in and win the starting job. And with quite a bit of hype as he should with being a five-star QB. So I hope he's better than last year's Dylan Morris, but maybe Dylan Morris has improved and earns this starting job over Sam here who can then redshirt and learn for a year, which quite frankly, I'd hope he can, because I think redshirting as a QB in college football is a great thing to do. Now, another aspect of the team to look for at spring ball is gonna be the whole defense. With Pete Kwiatkowski gone as defensive coordinators, 
the Huskies promoted from within, hiring Bob Gregory, who quite possibly was the least exciting and the least popular hire these Husky head coaches or Husky management could have made in hiring a defensive coordinator. We're really just going to have to wait and see if this Gregory hiring ends up being a success or, like all the fans think, it's going to be a fail. And one reason that I feel or think that Gregory was hired was just because of his experience. Now, Gregory, this is his year coaching at UW on the defensive side. He knows the system Jimmy Lake runs, as it's been the same system really all, all eight years. With that being the case, it seems obvious that he'll just continue on with that same system, not really changing anything, which, I mean, that's what I figured he'll do. But that's not what I'm interested in. I'm not interested in looking at the system this spring ball. I'm interested to see how the Husky defense responds to last year's somewhat uncharacteristic showing. The Husky defense has been known as really a top-ranked defense for probably five, six, seven, eight years in college football. They've been one of the top defenses in the nation. But this past year, they struggled, and they especially struggled in the run which I talked about that at length when I was doing my position breakdown of the linebackers and the defense line. So my question is going to be, what changes for the Husky defense from this past year to this next year? As personnel-wise, especially in the front seven, really it's the same group. So it's going to rely on the coaches changing things and coaching these guys up to be more successful. What is going to help them going, allowing 4.94 yards per carry in three of the four games last year to back to the team that would allow about 3 point something yards per carry a game? And that's really why I think they needed to hire a defensive coordinator from the outside, not on the inside. When something is struggling, you fix it by getting help. You, you don't always fix it from within and that's something the huskies needed to do they needed to go out look at other schemes look at other coaches who run different things and who have a different voice who have a different eye who might notice something to fix versus hiring bob gregory as the defensive coordinator who will come in and just run the same thing which as we saw last year didn't work so that's really going to be the second thing besides versus accuracy that I'll be looking for at spring ball. But now getting into the final topic of the day, 